Hello, this is Tyler with Phoenix Custom Systems. Today I'm going to show you how to use the NVMS uh, app for your PC to view and download recordings. So what we're going to do is you'll obviously open up your NVMS 7000 app um, and we want to see where these files are going to be saved to. So all we do is we go to Tools and then we come down here to System Configuration and then File and then this is where the path of all these things will be saved. If you want to change the path, you hit these three little dots and you figure out where you want it to save and then hit select folder. And you want to do that for each of these here. And then come down here and hit save. All right. So after we know where our file is going to be saved, we have to go find some files uh, to, to see what's going on. So um, what we'll do is we'll come up here, you go to the calendar, you pick your from, you pick your to, hit OK, hit search. And then all we do is drag and drop over and it's going to start playing from that time right down here and it's a military time so 0000 is 12 a.m in the morning time so all you do is you just drag this is where it's picking up motion um and if we want to save uh we've seen something here we want to save you have a snapshot which you can just take a snapshot of it or you can start recording so you hit it and then once you capture uh, what you're trying to record, hit stop. It always does that the first time, so we'll do it again. And this is where it's saving. So you see that little pop-up down here? Um, that's where it's saving in my videos folder. So if you just try to play this with Windows Media Player, it will not work because it's an MP4 unless you have the plugin for the windows, um, it won't play these MP4s. So how we have to do it is using VS player or VLC player. Um, you can download these for free. Go to phoenixcustomsystems.com. I have a link to download these um, under our downloads tab. You just download those. I like using the VS player. Um, so we'll open up that. We hit open file. You go to your uh, wherever you have it saved. And then we'll open this, double click, and it's going to start playing. Now, you can pause, fast forward, rewind. Um, obviously, you're probably going to have a bigger clip than what I've saved here. Uh, if you want a digital zoom, you just hit this little magnifying glass, and you can use your roller to zoom in and zoom out. If you don't have the roller, just left click and drag, and it's going to magnify that. And you can keep magnifying it, and of course, it's just going to get more and more pixelated. Uh, the closer you go to something. Um, now, if you're trying to send this to somebody else and they don't have either one of those players and they want to play it on a Windows Media Player, you can. How we're going to do that is you're going to come down here to Tools and then Convert. Um, over here is Clip. That's if you wanted to shrink it down. You had too much footage in there and you just need a you know maybe a few seconds of something. You can go in there and clip it to exactly what you want. But for right now, we're just going to Convert. Come up here, hit the plus. Single add, find your source, which is this, saving path, we want to save it, I'm going to save it to videos, hit next, uh, you want to come up here, your target format, we'll use AVI, uh, you can use another one if you want to use FLV, uh, but AVI is pretty common, you can play with anything, so we'll choose AVI, hit done, and start. And it's already converted it. So then if we go back into videos, and find the file, where did the file go? What's today? 8, 9, 19 right here. So I just double clicked and now it's playing in Windows Media Player. So pretty easy, pretty fast to convert if you need to do that. Uh, most law enfor enforcement are going to have these programs. so. Um, they'll be able to get it, but if you want to, you can convert it for them or whoever you need to. Uh, so let's go back in here. I'm going to show you another way to download if you right click and then come down to uh, downloads right here. Uh, you can go in here and this is your start time and end time of when the recording was. So you just pick one of these and then you hit download and then it will download again to your videos or wherever you're having it saved. Uh, another cool feature I want to show you real quick is the VCA. So what this is, is let's say that 
I only want to see something that happened right here. Someone stole my garbage can, right? So I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna knock up the sensitivity to two. Gonna hit this little green button here. And gonna say anything in this region that has happened during my time frame, let me know. So it's gonna search that region right there. And it's gonna pop up over here on the right hand side with all movement that has happened um, during that time frame. And then you just go over here and hit play and we'll start playing from when it's seen that movement in that targeted area. All right, and then you can always come down here and do it manual to back and forth. You just take it right here, hold it and grab it. And this line's gonna stay right where it's at. All right, uh, that's it, how to download and save. Oh, one last thing is if you're saving a lot of videos, more than likely you won't be able to send them through your email. Best way to do that is to, uh, if you have a Google Drive or some kind of cloud storage, download to that and then share that with whoever you're trying to share it with. Because uh, more than likely it's going to be over the uh, amount of footage that uh, you know Google or whoever your email provider uh, uses. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. Post them. And uh, hope you have a good day and hope you learned something.